Hello, my name is Dr. John Sapola. I teach saxophone and clarinet at Western Kentucky University. This is the Allstate Solo KMEA Allstate Solo for bass clarinet. This piece should be demonstrating very, very legato connected notes. Um, I talked a little bit about the bass clarinet and, and itself, uh, just some technical things about the instrument in the video about the fast, uh, faster etude for the bass clarinet, so I don't want to repeat too much. I'll just say that uh, make sure that your seat is high enough for you to reach the instrument, and if it's not, you might want to bring a book or something with you to sit, in, sit on in the audition. The angle should be slightly into the mouth, uh, as, you know, kind of almost like a clarinet, not quite. It shouldn't be straight on like a saxophone, and if your instrument is doing that, if your instrument has the type of neck that is straight on, what you want to do is maybe tilt the bottom of the, the bell in through the bottom of your chair just slightly to get a, a little bit of an angle, because it really does make a, a difference in, it, in, you able, uh, in getting you able to um, resonate the sound sort of in the front of the mouth uh, before it goes into the mouthpiece. Uh, make sure your instrument is in good working order also. Play a lot of dynamics in this piece. Um, give yourself a few liberties. Andante Cantable is not too slow, uh, and Cantable is very, very singing. So we can translate the singing part into um, when you crescendo into a note, shaping your phrase, and then coming down decrescendoing, and really accentuating the beautiful sound that you will have on your instrument, hopefully. And so you can get a beautiful sound, number one, from having very good reeds, uh, two and a half to number three reeds, a Van Doren B45 mouthpiece or a uh, Selmer C Star mouthpiece are very good standard mouthpieces for the bass clarinet. There are actually quite a few good mouthpieces out there, so those aren't the only two. There's quite a number of them. And make sure your reeds are, are new, uh, relatively new. Sometimes we can squeak on the bass clarinet if the reed is not wet enough, and that uh, ends up having little chirps of air popping out the sides of the, of the reed. Uh, also, a good ligature. If both your screws are not uh, tightened on the ligature, sometimes the air will leak there, too. Um, I would, on measure five, I would make sure that you uh, kind of breath accent those notes. So I'm using my tongue, but very, very lightly. So I'm not puffing ha, 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 like that. But I'm using my tongue and uh, a steady breath, but just sort of pulsing the air ever so slightly. I should probably be careful and clarify that I'm not generally pulsing the air as in but when you blow steady air through the bass clarinet you're, there will be times when the air speed changes and that speed in combination with your tongue the speed variation will give you the ability to phrase and so for instance in bar one, two, three, four, five, six, seven I'm using a very, very light tongue, but in a sense, I'm doing literally what the accents say when they say to decrescendo each note. So that gives me the ability to shape the notes. Uh, in measure 9, again, anytime you have a held note, measure 9 and 10 dotted chord notes, let those, follow your dynamics. Let those decrescendo and then continue on. 
Um, let's see. Make a really clear distinction in measure 15 with your dotted eighth note, sixteenth note rhythm into the quarter note and then triplets after. <laughs> Don't let the first rhythm sound more like a triplet. It should be. So be very precise. The way we uh, develop that is to be practicing a subdivided uh, articulation with our tongue. So play the three uh, 16th notes that are sort of embedded into the dotted eighth note. Um, let's see. Uh, Again, start very soft in the, in the beginning and shape the phrases with your dynamics uh, as best as you can. Um, and I can't emphasize enough to have a good solid read, a two and a half or a three, and um, don't play on your old standby read all the time because oftentimes by the time you get to an audition with the climate changes and everything, be, it, it may end up being that that read may not uh, endure as well as you would like it to and it may chirp or something. I wish you all good luck. And thank you very much for listening.